Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is yet another video uh, in the vid in the series of videos on the scope of microbiology and in this particular video I want to focus on the uh, food microbiology and the uh, dairy microbiology now this particular field of the microbiology this examines the ecological and the practical roles of microorganisms in our food and uh, these microorganisms they are of great significance to the food uh, for the following reasons why these microorganisms are important why we want to study about them these are just some of the important reasons the first important reason is that the microorganisms that can cause spoilage of the food what this mean is that they can destroy our food and if they can destroy our food and we do not design strategies to stop the spoilage of the food we can run short of the food now by understanding the physiology by which these microorganisms they cause the spoilage of the food we will be in a better position to stop the spoilage of the food and hence prevent the shortage of food around the globe secondly these microorganisms they are very important to manufacture a wide variety of the food products for our for the human beings for example they are very important in the production of the yogurt they are very important in the production of the uh, bread they are very important in the production of the beer and wine that means that if we understand the physiology of these microorganisms we will be in a better position to use them for our benefits for the benefits of the human beings Thirdly, these microorganisms, uh, these microbial diseases that can be transmitted by food and these particular diseases are known as the foodborne diseases. What happens is that once these microorganisms, they get access to the food, we eat that food and during the uh, eating of that particular food, these microorganisms get access to our body, thereby causing different diseases in our bodies. Now that means it is very important to understand what kind of the microorganisms they are causing the foodborne diseases and what should be the strategies to prevent the uh, spread of these foodborne diseases. So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell and share it with your friends and I'll continue the discussion in the uh, next video.